Okay, and welcome to the probably second video today, right? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna be covering the Sweet Lollipops event. So first of all, I'm gonna be doing this in several segments. So in the first one, I will be covering whether you are able to complete most important event parts fully free to play. And later on, I will discuss the AFK rates that you can get and how many rewards you can get from those. So the Sweet Lollipops event, uh, it's basically, it's coming out in Global and NA tomorrow from when the video drops actually, or it might be already out for you. Uh, but yeah, there are several tasks that you have to do. Uh, unfortunately, these are limited daily, so you are not able to infinitely farm from the quest. However, you are able to farm lollipops by AFKing uh, various mobs on the map like I am doing right here. And here are all of the rewards that you can get. So there are three transcendents, five legendaries, a blessing marble, 20 mystical scrolls, uh, sky stones, durability stones, enhancement stones, crystals, and gold is unlimited. So the limits on these are very high. Uh, there is a very, very low chance that you will be able to clean all of these. Like we have 100 on the sky stones on crystals, we have a thousand on these, so yeah, there's like no chance you are clearing all of them, even if you go fully refresh everything. For free to place, uh, looking at the value you can get here, I would say the main thing you need to do is get the three transcendent scrolls. Uh, the legendary and the mystical ones are nice, however, comparing the value you get uh, for like 20,000 for transcendence compared to 5,000 for legendary and 500 for mystical, they really drop off. So, as long as you are able to grab the three transcendence scrolls from uh, the event before it's over, I would say that's a win in your book. So, for that, uh, we're looking at 60,000 points uh, for you. So if we go to the calculations, uh, here's what I'm looking at. So the goal here is to get all of the points without refreshing any of the dungeons, uh, arena tickets, repeat tickets, anything like that. So in one day, you are able to do six Path of Growth and three Essence Dungeons for free. You get 10 arena and five brawl tickets for free per day. You get 20 repeat the quest tokens, uh, but you will only be able to do 5 because uh, the most optimal path is to refresh the essence dungeon. That one will give you the most gains and there is also the playtime reward uh, for 700 lollipops. And on top of that, uh, you are able to get uh, 5 extra repeats, uh, the ones that cost only 1 for gold uh, or XP bottles, up to you because you get five uh, repeat tokens from the uh, daily rewards. Uh, you also get three Path of Growth tickets from the daily rewards, and you get five Essence uh, Dungeon tickets from the repeat requests you have done here. So in total, uh, every day you are looking at nine Path of Growth, essence, eight Essence Dungeons, 15 Arena tickets, 10 repeat requests, because you do five here and five here, and the Playtime reward. And in total, in the whole 14 day period, you are able to do uh, this amount of them. So you will be able to do 126 Path of Growth entries, uh, 112 Essence Dungeon entries, uh, you will be able to do 210 Arena Battles, 140 DP Request, and complete the Playtime Request 14 times. And in total, haha, uh -huh, Editor Farmer here. So, uh, when editing and when playing the game in uh, my server, I realized that the daily rewards in Korea actually differ a bit uh, compared to the ones in NA and Global. So, uh, at first, this is of course concerning the arena tickets, I said that there are 15 arena tickets per day that you can do, so 10 uh, regular arena and 5 brawl arena. Turns out that Korea does not have it, but in Global and NA you actually get 5 extra tickets uh, from the daily quests. So instead of being able to do 15 uh, arena tickets, you are able to do 20. This bumps up the final amount to 280 uh, entries per 14 days, and you get an extra of 2,100 lollipops. So basically, uh, all of the total amounts you see, just add another 2,000, and you will get uh, the correct amount. And of course, uh, the point that's coming up soon is that... Uh, you will need a certain amount of AFK hours 
you can basically subtract like 10 or 11 hours uh, from that back to the video so uh this is how many lollipops you can get for that so this is of course without summoner pass without arena pass all that jazz uh so these amount of entries will give you 10,000 lollipops uh these amount of en essence dungeon entries will give you close to 15,000 lollipops arena will give you over 6k uh the peter quest will give you over 4k and the playtime the wars will give you close to 10k and in total that means that you will be looking at around 45,000 lollipops just from the daily stuff that you do here and it is not quite enough to complete the 60,000 goals so to top it off you will need to either uh, do a few refreshes or you can afk farm and in order to meet the goal you will need to do an average around 74 hours of afking over the two week period now i've done some afking this is a very baby account so the teams are definitely not optimized but i was able to get around 200 lollipops per hour by just farming in an empty field my team was uh, orbia shannon bernard and konamiya so very starter team this is like the very low benchmark and you can pretty much only go up from here so uh, at the lowest tier uh, we're gonna be looking at around 200 lollipops per hour and now for the second part are the afk rates so we already know that uh, you will be getting on average around 200 uh, lollipops per hour this comes out to uh, close to 5000 lollipops per day if you're farming afk farming like the whole time we're gonna be doing that because different people farm at different speeds and yeah uh there are two main exchanges after the scrolls that you should be focusing on there is a very low chance that you will be able to actually buy all of them so uh that's the reason i'm including them i'm not gonna be including the gold calculations because by the time you are done with these you will probably not even have any time left to exchange for gold but uh the two main exchanges are gonna be sky stones and after you're done with sky stones in my opinion crystals will be the second best so the exchange rates for these are 500 lollipops for 10k sky stones and 500 lollipops for 100 crystals and in total per day if you farm the whole day fk in an empty field with sort of a similar team that i have uh you're looking at 4800 lollipops which will actually be able to exchange you for around 96,000 sky stones or uh, after you're done or if you choose to uh, go for crystals you're looking at an average of around 960 crystals per day if you just afk farm for the whole time so yeah just sort of a quick uh video on the event especially for people who are too lazy to calculate the stuff uh, i do enjoy it so i do want to make a video on this and yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.